good afternoon good evening <laughs> welcome back to my channel vintage jewelry galore here i am again i had to do the video over i went live to show a huge jewelry haul that i had today i traveled all over the area where i live i was at like five six hours um went to six different locations and i got a large bulk of jewelry here but I went back and I looked at the video to see what those who were kind enough to come on live with me and those who were coming in after the fact were seeing, and it was very substandard, which I'm not happy with. So I'm doing it all again. I'm going to show everything again. If you see anything you like, email me at vintagejewelrygalore at yahoo.com. My email is down in the description section under my video all the time. You may email me. If it's not something I'm keeping or trying to research, I will be more than happy to sell it to you, um, especially if you're an already established buyer, but even people that aren't, you know. Subscribe to my channel um, if you're interested in coming to my sales. I have two sales a week. Monday evening, I am on typically at 8 p.m. Eastern Time every Monday, and there I have a live buy it now slash auction and then on Thursdays I come at 12 p.m. Eastern time and I have a thrifty Thursday sale where everything is priced from five to thirty dollars and you're gonna get good items um, at that sale I sell things for a fraction of the price of what they're worth on thrifty Thursday so um, oh, reason I'm saying subscribe if you want to come to those auctions is I've had to take have taken a safety measure here on my channel to where I'm requiring that people are subscribed to when I'm live to be able to say anything. I had a bout of pretty bad personal harassment on Monday, and I'm on the men's trying to figure out who did that, see if that happens. But anyways, I don't want it to happen again, not just because of me, but because of my subscribers. I don't want them to have to go through seeing the type of things that were typed into that chat. It's very disturbing. I know I have a lot of respectable women who come here to my channel. And I don't want them to have to see that. So please subscribe if you're interested in coming to my sales. So Monday, I will be on at 9 p.m. Eastern time. This, you know, every once in a while, I start a little later if it's a holiday or for some kind of event going on for me. And I do have an event. My youngest daughter is in band at school and they're performing at Kennywood Park here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, well, that's over in Munhall, Kennywood area. I mean, not Kennywood, Homestead, Munhall, upper area part of that area. So she will be there performing early evening. So I'll come on at 9 p.m. Eastern time. Let me get started showing you what I have. I have some lovely items that weren't able to be seen. I picked a large variety of different types of jewelry out. I really went wild today. Um, I expected this to be Givenchy. Givenchy? It's not. This is Napier. I don't know how old. I'll look at the maker's mark. This is one I'll hold on to. I'm going to be doing a video in the near future showing them a Napier collection that I've collected by date, dating it by Hallmark. Maker's mark, not Hallmark. Maker's mark is from the company who made the jewelry. Hallmark is like gold or whatever on it, but this is very lovely. These are crystals. And this will be up for sale eventually. Napier says since 1920. And lovely lovely crystals there on an apiary you see different colors look at that purple bluish and i'm taking my time too you know you can come and go if you don't watch the whole thing it's fine i'm trying to slow down a little bit when i do my sales i move a little quicker because i do i do sell a lot of jewelry during my sales um and i know a lot of people that come to my sales appreciate the fact that i move quicker but when i show it i'm, I'm gonna slow down a little bit today i'm relaxing i'm having a margarita to calm my nerves and I never drink once a year, <laughs> but I, you know, I'm alone. Well, not alone, you know, no children responsibilities, so I'm going to relax a little bit, and that'll help me just a tiny bit. Very nice. Only enough to take the edge off. I, I don't drink heavily ever, like I said, once a year. Um, these are cool. This is glass, and they're like pieces of glass, and they look like crystal. These are those double-sided earrings again. Look, remember I had the pair that I sold at Thrifty Thursday, if you... Where there he saw it, I got it in my jewelry box. I think those ones were Kate Spades. I don't know who these ones are. It's just glass and that's silver tone. I didn't test it or anything. I think it's just glass and silver tone, but double-sided earrings, pretty cool. I have three pairs today that with different designs. I will bring them all out. There's those. This is Monet in the box butterfly, about two and a half inches. Very pretty, more to Monet on the back. This is more modern. I'm not sure of the exact dating, but it, comes in a Monet box since 1929 it says and very pretty those are glass 
blue rhinestones of differing colors, as you can see. Pretty. I'm not going to take it off the card right now. Found a Lee Sand set. I just had a set not long ago. I think this one, I'm not sure what the stone is on it. I will look at that. But the um, earrings are on a card. Sterling, pearls, and stone. Not really sure of the stone. And then uh, this is sterling up top, pearls, and the stone, and little sterling pieces. I will figure out the stone. If anybody knows, put down in the comment section if you have an idea. I think it's too, like, a gray, it's like a gray-blue, too blue for soda light, but I could be wrong. Maybe it comes in different colors. And there's a bracelet. So it's a three-piece pearl, stone, and sterling silver Lee Sand set. I sold a set not long ago to somebody of Malachite. Very lovely set. This is a lovely set as well. Three pieces, Lee Sands. Again, there's the stone. It has the precious metal clasp on there and on here. It's all, it's set in sterling, I believe. I'm going to put it back. It came in this little velvet box, the uh, store I was at, put it in. Okay. Um, test this for Bakelite. I don't know if it is. It looks, if it is, it's cherry Bakelite. I'll test it. A lot of times, I mean, they, I, I assume they made them like this. I really, it's not. It's magnetic. Unless they're, this is probably some kind of acrylic or plastic, but I'll test it anyways because it's heavy and it's cool. It's a clamper bracelet. It looks like such on. It's nice actually. Well, that's the clasp, but it's pretty big. It's an average size, like seven inches. Because you need a little room in there, I think. But there's that. There's a lot of fabulous stuff. Um, this is gold. 10 karat gold. This is... Oh, no. <laughs> I tested it because it had real pearls in it. It's 10 karat gold. I looked it up. Order of the Rose is a... Um, it can be a pendant. It's a vintage one. I think I read 1930s. I'll have to go back and look. That lifts up and it can be a pendant. And it does say Order of the Rose, I think. Yes, Order of the Rose. It was a... Um, Looking for the correct word there. Um, oh my God, I can't re remember what it's called. A uh, sorority. So that that is 10 karat gold. I did test it because I wanted to, to make sure it was the gold one. And this is worth a pretty penny. It's vintage 10 karat gold order of the uh, rose pin, a little over an inch. That was a good find for me today. One that I'll hold on to um, for a while. Kenneth J. Lane in the red box. Kenneth J. Lane by Kenneth J. Lane. KJL by Kenneth J. Lane. So, get the box, the pearls, faux pearls, a nice little red bag. Kenneth J. Lane by KJL for, by Kenneth J. Lane. And a wipe cloth, which is interesting, um, I guess, to clean them. Now, let, I don't know if this content is like silver with, it could be with rose gold over, but that is a rose gold color. And I'll have to look these up and see. And those are faux pearls, but they're very nice. They're glass, and they are strung, and probably on silk. It looks shiny under there, silk. And I don't know the exact dating on this Kenneth J. Lane set. Um, I mean, pearls, faux pearls, I'm not sure. Can't remember. I did look it up not long ago. But it's not stuck with me completely, you know. Not like Monet and Trafaria in my head. Um, I still have to look back at that as well. I read the book on that. I don't know if there's a KJL book. Maybe there is. Somebody would know that. These are nice. Um, I got two of them. One has a W on the back of it. And I did show all of this. So if you're re-watching re it again, you're actually going to see what it looks like. This looks um, called plated. See how it's that nice, like, creamy, buttery type of thing. That is has hieroglyphics on it. This is, these test as stone. And that's poured glass on the side. This looks like an unsized Givenchy, honestly. I have the earrings in a pair of earrings that I know are. I may have to revisit that and maybe relist that item with this. See if the earrings match this. I have them on my eBay. But a spring ring clasp. And I don't see a marking on it, but I will investigate it further. It's a scarab. Nice chain. It's in great shape. Like I said, a spring ring clasp. Um, this is probably 80s. And those are testing a stone. So they're the earrings that I had. And I will pull them off, not pull them off eBay, but take that and compare these together and see if they match. And maybe relist it with this. Green poured glass on the side and scarabs with hieroglyphics in the back. Very nice necklace, actually. 
Yes, yes. Found a lot of jewelry, guys. I've nearly a hundred pieces of jewelry from my adventure. I have some amber glass. I just sold amber glass to one of my subscriber friend customer not long ago. But these are strung on silk, and these are appear to be molded to me. Um, amber glass. I have two of them. They're long strands. I have this double. And are they exactly the same? Kind of, not quite. <laughs> but they look similar. Look, here they are. There's two of them. I'll hang them up here. The amber glass. That's both of them. They're long and they're strands. There's no, no clasp on this. And that's what you've got going on. Like there's some, this one seems molded you know what i mean by that it has ridges and so forth like it's um, not carved i'm not gonna call it that i would say molded it's glass but um nice nice vintage amber glass strings right there um this is signed mexico somebody asked me about this i will respond to you if you're watching this again i just have to weigh it and test it this is signed mexico 925 it's a fold over clasp sterling I, I have to test it to make sure but i believe it it looks like it fits the part it's got a good weight to it um fold over class link bracelet i actually bought this last week and found it in my purse i thought the lady forgot to give it to me or somebody pulled it out of my box at the estate sale but here it is it's here i found that with my frog i picked him up too last week it's a little monet and he's got a little damage on his feet but i'm keeping him um enamel like an epoxy enamel it's a light coating there it's a box it's like a trinket box a little frog he'll go back on my stand with the family um i got a variety of everything here and i'm so excited to come on live i had an issue with my storage well i cleaned it up so now i have a lot of storage so i can film again this is nice i don't know how old it is look at this it doesn't stick to a magnet that's gold tone that is um that is painted on there i can feel it and that's like porc that's porcelain under there you know under the paint and then i think i don't know if this is modern or not i gotta look at it probably look at how it's connected um but it's nice it looks older it is a barrel clasp i'm not certain of how old it is though honestly i, I can't tell by the make of it the makeup of what it's made like it's very pretty necklace of course not telling you anything you don't know there huh all right i have some mother of pearl that is dyed but quite lovely and pearls that are dyed but nice nice combo well these are not dyed but we have yellow and i believe these ones may be dyed as well they're they're gray and very there's the mother of pearl it's salmon color and it's a nice necklace it's strung and knotted in between strung on fabric that doesn't look like silk to me i could be wrong on that but and there it is i also have a turquoise necklace hanging in my car i had it hanging on a rearview mirror because i didn't want it in the bag because i was afraid it would get damaged so i will show that too at some point it's very nice glass um this is a vintage necklace um there's the barrel clasp and you have this this is like a almost looks like a moon moon glow type thing it's glass with the gold tone cappings on each side of it. And these are all separated. This glass hair is all separated by um, these smaller ones with the gold tone caps on them. And there it is. A swirly, nice glass. Don't really know what to call it, but see how it glows in between there, how it's glowy. Let me double it up and show it to you. And there it is there, it's pretty. And it's all glass and gold tone caps on that don't know the type of glass on that and this is avon but this is very nice um not that i think there's anything wrong with avon because i don't but let me show you this this is a choker tough style these are glass um seed bead okay and it is signed avon back here on this piece um that is you know an enhancer you can put this on your real pearls if you want really it's a very lovely rose um and that's acrylic or plastic, some kind of plastic. But it's a choker. Very pretty, I think. That's a nice necklace. 
I don't care who made it, right? It's very nice. It has a, um, a modern clasp, a um, lobster claw. It's very nice. I don't know if the, these faux pearl looking like seed beads or Avon, but that is right there. And that's the nice part of it, if you ask me. Quartz, short quartz necklace with a barrel clasp, clear quartz. I can't believe I'm doing a video all over again. I just had to. I just, like, I can't have it on my YouTube. I, I made it private. And here I am again. Starting over. That's quartz. It's nice. I like, anytime I find stone, I pick it up. This is a Kenneth Cole necklace. Honestly, I didn't expect it. Not expect it to be. Not that I think there's anything wrong with Kenneth Cole. But this necklace is uh, very, um... That's a nice necklace. Wait till you see it. It's, it does not have a clasp on it as far as I can see. But this is all faceted glass in different shapes. You see that? And it's linked on, it's on metal. And that's just kind of cool. I have it doubled up. That is very nice. It looks like crystal. Um, it's faceted glass, I believe. Though. But it shines very well, as you can see. That's a nice necklace. Um, it's a strand. It's very long. It does have Kenneth Cole tag hanging there. Let me put this. Okay. Put it aside. Um, I have a lot more. Let me show the ring. This is Mother of Pearl. And this is really lovely, too. Look at that. I don't know the size. I think it's like six and a half. So it fits my finger a little. It fits it loose. Yeah. Um, it's a six and a half. Um, let me see right there. Very pretty. It is sterling silver Marcus sites, and that is um, for me. Going around it is for me. I like that. That's a nice piece of mother of pearl. It's a pretty ring. It's a six and a half. Lee Sands. Um, I believe this is fluorite. Uh, these are pearls. They use natural elements in their natural things. LS. Pearls. A nice color. A gray. I don't know if they dyed them lilac. My eyes are getting the best of me now. But we have fluorite on here. And there's these, I believe, are amethyst pieces in there. I'll test them to make sure. But it's pretty. And probably gold plating on this or just gold tone. It's not gold, obviously. They don't do that. They do have sterling. I have a set. I already showed a set. And that has sterling findings on it. But this is, I believe that's fluorite and maybe some dream amethyst. And these are amethysts. I have to look at it, though, and make sure and confirm. Or if you see it, you can look and see what you think. Um, I welcome people's uh, help down in comment sections or input. And especially if I say I don't know what something is, I never take it as an insult. I appreciate your help. Um, cause why not? This is very nice. This is glass, um, and possibly pearls. I don't know if there's a pearls. I have to test them. This is a very long strand and I like the color combination. Look at that. You have chocolate colored pearls. They may be faux. I have to look at them closer in the greenish glass. Um, it looks like poured glass strung is what it looks like. Uh, I don't know if that's such a thing. And there you go. That's Nice colors, I think, in that. Oh, I got a nice St. John's hair. I believe this is 1980s. Let me show this. Um, let me show you the tag first. It's had the little SJ there. St. John's. You see it? Okay. Um, and it's a J-hook. And it's linked. Rather, it's a well-made necklace. I believe it's all closed construction there. These are flowers. And this is... Um, St. John's. I believe this is 1980s, just by the look of it. Um, I don't know. I did to see if there's another maker's mark under there as well, but look, it's, um, it's gold plated and possibly some enameling over that as well. Yeah. Like in the center is here, gold plated, and they have some yellow, like enameling going on there to give it more color for the flower. It's a very pretty necklace. That is, um, a St. John's necklace. I'm going to leave it hanging. Why not? This is a fantastic necklace. Ooh, more modern. Um, I don't know, 70s, 80s. I guess 80s. 
maybe more modern than that. But these are black faceted glass that are knotted in between, strung on fabric. Not sure if it's silk. I can't get a good look at it or feel. But rondelles that are clear rhinestones in between. Um, ugh, it's a nice necklace, I think. Look, and they have, like, you have sta they're stationed there, 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 and here. So, and there it is. It does. It's very long and very lovely. Look at that. Nice necklace. Um, it's all nice because I picked it out to me. <laughs> if I wouldn't buy it, if I didn't think it was nice. Um, these are mother of pearl pieces and some, I guess these ones are dyed. I don't think it comes naturally like that, right? It's like on these, these links like that is what it's put on. And it does have a clasp on it. It looks like that. I'm going to double it up and show it to you. There's that. I think that's a nice color combo. Let's see. Mother of Pearl necklace and abalone, possibly, or a maybe all Mother of Pearl that's dyed. I don't know. But those are real pieces. They are not glass. I do know that. I have a stone necklace that when I move it, a portion of it looks like labradorite. And I did show this, all of this in my live video I was just on, but like I said, it was a disaster. But I see a flashing of blue and so forth on this. I don't know what the stone is, but I think there's some labradorite in it. See, I see a flashing of blue coming up. That is a long stone strand that I'm not really sure what it is, but I do. You see that flash? There's the labradorite flash up there. Um, it's showing every so often as I move it. So, is it a labradorite strand? I'm not quite sure if it is completely. I have a couple more rings. Um, oh, I have garnet. Okay. Um, polished and gemstone garnet here. Look, this is sterling silver garnet gemstone and the polished, um, can't remember the other name for the garnet. Um, I have to look it up, but this is fantastic. I have a pair of earrings that match it. Look at that. It's nice. It's the first garnet like that that I found. Can't remember the name begins to see. It's at the tip of my tongue. I remember um, Dawn telling me about it um and i don't remember what it's called right now but those are garnets down there stranding and then i have these earrings that are sterling silver like a nice little flower in the front and garnet nice garnet necklace let's hang it up treat this nicely i really like this i don't know what i'm gonna do with that yet i think it's lovely um these i believe are cadmium i have to test them in the dark i have a pair of earrings you can see that fire inside that you do with the cadmium. You see that? But they could just be like an orangish red stone, rhinestone. I'll test them in the dark. And there's a little necklace that's knotted that I have to unknot. It has the same fire to it. But I'm, like I said, I'm not sure if it's cadmium or just rhinestones. I'll look at that. I didn't test them in the dark. It's a long day. And when I got home, tried shooting a video. Had to start over. I was so upset about that. I, I mean, I went live and God, what a mess. This is glass and that's very nice. Like it's two layers and then you have her centered in the middle. There's the back, can be a pendant or a brooch. Sorry, and it's a brass, I believe it says brass. Filigree kind of or whatever. I guess that would be filigree, maybe another name for it, but very nice. She is all glass. Uh, two layers though it's not i don't I, I have to look at it closer it could be carved from there i don't know all right this necklace i showed this and i don't think it really the real effect of it came out but that busts a little crooked up but it's going to be used J hook don't know the designer have to look at it closer but it's a fabulous glass necklace just look at the glass this is glowing pink and blue and that's First one, I think it's all glass. I will make sure there isn't stone in it here as well, but I think it's all glass. Look at that piece, that bead. It's lovely, it's a short necklace. Um, it has an extender on, it's probably like 15, 16 inches. It's wearable, but really fabulous glass. Some of it, I don't even know what to call it. Um, that looks like foil glass is what I call that. This is molded. It's, it's lovely, isn't it? Let's look at that for a minute. Hopefully my lighting and sound is okay. 
earlier today I was jumbling up and the screen looked terrible and my laptop is not a low memory laptop. That is labor laboratory and I see it shining blue all over now for one second. So I mean, I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but I got to resolve it before Monday. I have to resolve it over the next day. Monday's going to be so busy. I'm not going to have time to worry about it. But this is like a cat's eye. My one light just went out. I think I'll still be okay. Let me move closer to the light. Um, glass, cat's eye, cross. I didn't test it to see if it's sterling or not, but it's a memory bracelet. I think it's nice there. Um, I have a little prayer box bracelet of faceted glass. I don't think it's sterling. I'll test it, but the, it works to clip on it, and it's a little prayer box. See the praying hands? Stretch bracelet. This is, this is a plastic. I, it doesn't have a seam. It looks moon glowish, like glowy, and I thought it was a cool shape, so square yet rounded at the ends, round in the center. This is stone, mixed stone, multiple types. It's a um, not a strand, there is the clasp. To him. And then we have tiger eye quartz, some pearls, um, and some different, some amethyst. I, mean, I think there's garnet on here. I'll hang it up and let you look at it. There's that. That's stone. I'm getting through it. Um, it's not taking me as long either. This is a br little Brighton, let me take that off, little Brighton buckle bracelet. It's, it has to be um, under here, I think. Yeah, there's to be, it's gold plated. It's a leather, blue leather braided bracelet. Uh, it's a Brighton, little buckle bracelet. I thought it was cute. This I think may be jade. I gotta look at it. The stretch isn't great on it, but I still picked it up and that's some, maybe carnelian. I'm not really sure. But it looks like jade to me. They, I'm not sure that it's stretch. I picked it up because um, I wanted to see what it was. Here's another pair of those double earrings. Like I found two pairs of them. Three pairs. These are faux pearls on this side and a rhinestone. A clear rhinestone. You see you have clear rhinestones on this side. And the faux pearls on this side. Now they're doubled up. I sold a pair that I believe were Kate Spade on my sale. I don't know what these are. These are uh, faux pearls, big, and they're the same thing. Bigger on that side, smaller, you know, bigger and smaller. They're plastic faux pearls. This is lovely. Look. My lights. I have two lights out in my trunk. I have to bring them in to put on each side. It's going to improve my lighting dramatically. You have emerald cut uh, round and uh, these are like pear shape. Um, I don't know who the maker is. It looks like it has a rhodium plating back there possibly. Um, it's like a, it's a ribbon it's very well made and nice. It's about three inches. This is a Monet necklace. Um, these, like this piece here spins around in there. It's Monet faux pearls. This is 1980s I think. There's two of them that spin around, and it's long. It does have the Monet signature clasp on it with the hang tag, and faux pearls around it, the two that, where it spins right there. There's one on each side. That is Monet, 1980s, I think. I have another scarab. This one has a W on it. Looks gold plated right here. Um, Here's the W, it has the hieroglyphics back here, and that's testing a stone, so it's onyx, I would believe. Um, this one is a lobster claw clasp. I don't know what W stands for, but there's that. It's a um, it's a rather long uh, gold tone, gold, I'll say gold tone necklace. Scarab necklace. All right, and I have this. This is like some kind of stone. I don't really know what to call this. But look. I believe it's stone. I'll test it. I see stangles and a flower. And then the strand that is on, I think it's sterling thread. That looks sterling. I'll test it though to make sure. But there it is. It's like a long necklace. Um, It's nice. I don't know. It's really long. It has a clasp on it, but it's a long one. I'm almost a half an hour in. 
This is Dragon's. I don't know what this is, but I picked it up anyways. It's a pin. And I think those are Dragon Heads. I don't know what that means. I just grabbed it because it was different. This I don't think is lovely at all, but it's different. I pick up the unique, I pick up the lovely, and I do pick up things I know my subscribers and customers will like. Because I, as you know, you know, I am surfacing a population here. I'm selling jewelry to you guys and entertaining you, so it is my desire to show things people like. And it's things I like, but this thing here, I don't know. I don't think it's lovely. This is, I think it's citrine. I'm going to have it confirmed with my jewelers. This is a size six, and I believe it's sterling. I have to test it. It might be white gold or platinum. There's a Prada mark in there, I think it says. And that is a stone. I just want to confirm with him if it's a birthstone or an actual, like, genuine citrine or lab created, and he can tell me that because he knows how to look. I don't, and I'm not at the point where I can tell. Maybe I will be it someday, but it's a very nice ring. And ah, it's tight, so maybe under a six. I don't know. Um, my fingers are swelled too. Probably. This is a faux pearl. It, it, it's a fabulous pearl. I think it's glass. It's got some weight to it. it. Has an X in there. It's sizable. This is a costume jewelry ring, but very fabulous. Has a little vertigree over here. I have to clean, but look at it. There is an X there invertigree it needs cleaned off it's a well-made ring though it's these two one two there's you know two layers and you have that pearl and that vertigree will come off this is a nice turquoise ring this is small this is a pinky ring this is a four or three and three three point seven five i don't know the type of turquoise so i can't determine it this looks vintage to me and it does look sterling but i will test it it is a pinky ring it's tight on that one it would probably fit on this one it's close to a four. Okay. Um, I have more. <laughs> nice pin. That is glass. Maybe peaking glass. I don't know. Gold plated. It looks in the back. It looks gold plated. It's well made. As you can see, it's layered more than and it's domed. And that is bezel set in there. See how it's set in there. It's a nice pin. It's about two and a half inches. Very nice. It looks gold plated. It's in great shape. And I thought it was fun, fabulous, so I picked it up. Um, I have this is I believe this is an a coral ankle bracelet. It looks a little big. I have to get the tag off, but it's coral. And I, this is black seed beads. I think it's an ankle bracelet. That is a tag. It looks really big, so I might wear that as an ankle bracelet. I have these earrings that look um, like something good to me, but I don't know what. You know, I say that often, but that's what it is. I don't know who they are. But they're gold plated and have some white enamel on them. Kind of look like shrimp earrings or half of a hoop. And they're marvelous. They're heavy. They have a weight to them. The class, the clip is good. They're clip earrings. The clip is in good shape. I don't know who to make her. So I'm going to look a little closer because I could be missing it. Sometimes it's very small and, and on one earring. But they are a nice earring and they feel substantial to me. I have a Jerry's lobster set, um, two lobsters, if I can find the other lobster. Yeah, one's bigger than the other one. Jerry's, signed G-E-R-R-Y-S, vintage Jerry's lobsters, metal with enameling over them. They're white on the bottom, sorry, white on the bottom and red coating over the top. This is a Crown Trafari mid-century frog signed with a copyright. He's really cool, I think. He's signed for Crown Trafari over here. And he's about an inch and a quarter. It's not real big. Um, this is a Sterling and Marcusite ring. As you can see. And all the Marcusites are there. And I forget. I think this is a six. Yeah, right around there. Maybe five and three quarters. I think it's a six, though. I'll measure it if anybody asks me for it. Or when I sell it, I'll give you a measurement on that. These are Kramer earrings. I don't know the content. I think it's just some type of plastic acrylic up here. I'll look closer to make sure. But there are Kramer, K-R-A-M-E-R. -E Meant to look like, like gemstones, but I think that's all plastic. I will check it again. They're clips, and they do say Kramer back there. This is my clown. I did get that for myself. I thought anybody's going to really want it. No, I'm joking. Some people like these. He's a sad clown. Look at him, he looks so sad. 
It's metal and enameling. He's cool. I will keep him definitely. This will hold a flower. I don't know if it's sterling or not. I'm really sorry. Um, I tried holding it by the pen. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. It holds a flower. Not everybody gets that far anyways. I know that. <laughs> I forget what these are called. And I think it's pewter, but I'll test it because I have had sterling ones as well. This one here is signed K-U-H-N. Z-I-N-N, 93%. I don't know the content in the metal. I will look. There's enameling going around, little flowers on the hearts, about two and a half inches. And there's the signature. I don't know what that means. I will look it up. Um, this is a costume lizard, about four inches in gold tone. He has, he's like raised bumps on him. Looks like a salamander to me. There are no rhinestones, it's all raised. This is an, a vintage necklace, um, glass, strung on some fabric there, cord. Um, it's pretty messy looking because it's old. Brass clasp, I mean, it's it's just color because it's old. These are black faceted and I think, I will make sure it's not rock crystal, but I'm pretty sure that's um, old glass. This is vintage. I'm not quite sure of how old that is, but I'll figure that out. This is, I have, this is signed Vandal, and it's a genie lamp. Vandal crystals and gold plated. I think it's gold plated. I'll make sure it's not gold. I doubt it. I know they did a lot of gold plated. Um, Vandal used to do a lot of gold plated in the jewelry. All right, let's move the glass. I'll show this. I think this is cute. Signed Allen of copyright. This is a little articulated puppy dog waggling around with a long chain with a spring ring he's cute I think oh these are really cool nice nice these are crown trafari um, I think they're crystal and then it could be rhinestone they're clear something crown trafari mid-century they do have a copyright clip earrings they're really nice let's leave those there these are crown trafari mid-century as well these are basket weave, kind of look like a pie on the top, don't they? Like an apple pie or something. They're clip earrings. They're signed Crown Trafari for copyright as well. Um, I have this is a, <laughs> look at this. This is pretty cool. Ab Abalone, Mother of Pearl. Um, they look like somebody's legs and feet, don't they? But that's what that is. That's a necklace there. This is scarab. It is plastic, acrylic, plastic, scarab, maybe gold filled, I don't know. But pretty colors, but they are not gemstone, those are plastic. This is a horse. <laughs> pretty cute, like a little pony. It doesn't have a maker's mark as far as I can see. I thought it was cute though. So I picked it up. I have a thoroughbred club pin here. I showed this too. I don't know if anybody could see it. I kept blurring up and my sound was awful. Um, but there's that. There's a horse on it. It's the thoroughbred, thoroughbred club. It's very tiny. That's less than a half an inch. This is pretty. It looks like it has a plating on the back of some sort. And those are rhinestones. Clear and a nice sapphire blue. And I have these. A little. These are crystals. They look gold plated. And they do have some crystal eyes as well. A ladybug and a, a bee, I think. They're tiny. They're about half an inch each. They're cute, though, I think. I have, um, this is a mother's. I think this is an imitation, like, Pandora. I don't believe it is, or I think that's what it's called, imitation Pandora. But it says mother, and it has some nice art glass, like, glass on it. And this barrel clasp, I mean, that thick glass. I don't know if it's a sterling or not. I'll test it. I believe that's glass. I'll make sure it's not crystal, but toggle clasp, and this is a pretty bracelet. It looks like the soap pot I sold not long ago. I don't think it's that, though. I think it's a little different. Um, is this like a hat pin? I think, or me, I don't know what this is. But cobalt blue glass, gold tone uh, pieces on there, and this is like a wedding cake, like or something like that bead. Art glass bead, we'll call it. It's long. It's about four inches. I don't know what that is, though. I picked it up because I thought it was nice. So. This is a coin. 
I mean, I don't know if it's right. 1776, I think it says. And then it has this on this side, and it has a spring ring clasp. It is a necklace that has a coating of acrylic or plastic over the top of it. There's that. I'm almost done. This is a child's like stretch I'm gonna give to Eva. It's plastic, she'll like that in metal. Um, these earrings, I thought these were going to be like um, check glass because of the way this looks, but they're not. These are in a plastic of sorts. They're clips and that's plastic. I didn't like really look at it real close. I was looking at a lot of jewelry today. Like I said, I was at a lot of places and I looked at a lot of jewelry, so I kind of gave, not gave up, but missed it, you know. This necklace, I'm showing one last piece. This is a, I don't know what it says, Schwann or something like that. I have to read it closer. Let me show it, maybe somebody knows it. If you get this far. Um, let me see if I'm turned right. It goes this way, I'll enlarge it. I don't know. It's not going to be recognizable to you either, I don't think. I'll, I'll research it and figure out what it is. This is a, it's a nice necklace though. It's, um, it has a ribbon on it. Let me get it untangled. It's a little tangled up as you can see. It has a ribbon on it and this, I think that's glass and a cross. Like, this is what we have. Um, that cross and this, I don't know. That's a fish, I think, maybe. And this is a ribbon. I don't know who the maker is on. It's a gunmetal color, and it has a rather long chain. It's a, um, it's not real long, but it's like 30 inches probably. That is a lobster claw, and that's the details there. And I think I showed this. <laughs> if not, that's the last thing. Thank you for watching my video. I wanted to redo it because I really, that video was awful that I did live, and I didn't like the way the outcome of it, so I redid it again. And I got through it. Um, I will do a preview video for my auction on Monday tomorrow. If you saw anything you like here, email me at vintagejewelrygalertyahoo.com. I will be on at 9 p.m. on Monday. I will mention it again in my preview video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good evening. The rest of your weekend goes well. Thank you. Bye.